Um, let's bring you some more breaking news regarding these fixed penalty notices that are being issued by the Metropolitan Police. The Prime Minister's wife, Carrie Johnson, has received one. A spokesperson for Mrs Johnson said this, in the interest of transparency, Mrs Johnson can confirm that she has been notified that she will receive a fixed penalty notice. She has not yet received any further details about the nature of the FPN. Of course, those receiving these FPNs don't know what parties they're for, what dates, etc, etc. So that's the details they're referring to there. Let's bring in our chief political correspondent, John Craig, who is in Westminster. So over 50 FPNs now issued by the Metropolitan Police. We've got the Prime Minister, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister's wife involved. Well, the Prime Minister uh, will no doubt say that uh, it's the uh, home of both uh, Mr Johnson and indeed Mrs Johnson and their very young children. Uh, but uh, this uh, news has come pretty swiftly from uh, Carrie Johnson. Uh, she is said to have organised, uh, as I recall, the birthday party for the Prime Minister, I think in the Cabinet Room. Uh, it's known that she has attended some of the gatherings there. And I suppose, given that the Prime Minister has uh, been, is going to be issued with a fixed penalty notice, um, it's perhaps no surprise that his wife also, who is... Uh, nearly always at his side, uh, obviously in Downing Street, is also being uh, being uh, fined. Uh, she's uh, moved pretty swiftly to set the record straight here, as you've just said, in the interest of transparency. Um, some people might say she's been more transparent than her husband and uh, other figures in Downing Street. She can confirm she's been notified she will receive a fixed penalty notice. She doesn't know any uh, details yet about the nature. Uh, just uh, let me bring you a little bit more reaction. Nicola Stern uh, has also said that uh, that uh, uh, that uh, Boris Johnson must resign. He broke the law, repeatedly lied to Parliament. The basic values of de integrity and decency essential to the proper working of any parliamentary democracy demand that he should go. He should take his out of touch Chancellor with him. Uh, so. Political opponents are uh, piling in, as you can imagine. I come back to the point. I do think it's worth considering the position of Rishi Sunak here, because, uh, as we've been discussing, he has had a torrid few weeks, and there have been suggestions that he might be ready to walk. You'll recall that the at the weekend, removal vans turned up in Downing Street, and uh, a lot of furniture was moved out of the Chancellor's flat. Now, the explanation we were given was that uh, Rishi Sunak's multi-million uh, wife uh, was uh, moving out with their children. It was claimed temporarily to, their, to move to their home in West London to be near their eldest daughter's school. So, clearly some upheaval in the uh, Sunak household already. It was reported that he'd been considering resigning over the whole uh, tr uh, tr tax problems he and his wife were facing. Remember, he gave that defiance and at times emotional interview to the sun towards the end of the la last week and hit out at those who were criticising his wife uh, and he's saying, don't smear my wife. So the Chancellor, uh, if not the Prime Minister, and we know the Prime Minister will want to cling on, but the Chancellor, it has to be said, uh, is more likely to quit than the Prime Minister. And if the Chancellor were to resign, if he were to say, I've had enough of this, uh, I've been found to uh, break and uh, lockdown rules, and I'm facing all these uh, questions about my tax affairs, I've had enough, I'm going to quit, um, then, of course, that really will massively pile the pressure on the Prime Minister if the Chancellor were to resign.